Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Quick little video for you today. I'm going to paint the calipers. I'm going to spray paint them with good old Halford spray. Uh, caliper spray that is. Um, I'm going to take you through the preparation. It's not like a this is how you spray your calipers video because I couldn't be asked to film it all if I'm honest. Um, so it's just a rough but there's enough there that I'm you know strip the gear clean it all mask it off clean it ready for paint spray it jobs are good so come on this little journey on this little video and uh, see what the result is if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button hit the like button share and all that good stuff and uh, i'll see you after the video bye for now all right today is uh, how to spray your calipers day now i've already sprayed the rears don't need to see that but I'm going to show you how to spray your fronts. So because I've got six pots on the front, it's slightly more technical in terms of how you clean them up. Because there's hardware that I don't want to be sprayed. So it's going to need to come off. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. And the reason why I'm spraying them up is because I hate orange. And we've got an upgrade coming. So they need to look good for the upgrade. I wonder what the upgrade's going to be. Hmm. Anyway. Let's go and get on with it. Let's get outside in the cold weather and uh, start playing with spanners and do what we usually do. Come on. Okay, so we're going to start with the pad retainer bolts and we'll get them out. Because we don't want them sprayed. And we don't want the pads to be sprayed neither, so we need to take them out. Turn the steering wheel so the caliper is pointing at us rather than away from us like this. Makes life a lot easier. There you go. Pull the pads out easy enough then I'm going to blast the bolts I want to come off with uh, WD-40 but to be fair I used WD-40 to clean this caliper so there was a lot it's very handy actually WD-40 as a cleaner so it's a handy little tip that one and um, these bolts were on far too tight I even had to use an extra wrench on it just to give me extra leverage they were on far too tight um, same with the, the actual wheel spaces as you can see them nuts were on way too tight the driver's side's got already got a rounded one on there a rounded nut so I don't know how the hell I'm going to get that off because um, I want to paint the bell on the driver's side but I couldn't get the disc off but I took the disc off this side as you can see and uh, although I'm not showing it I did clean everything up there including that little dust plate got that all sprayed up it looks mint so we're just uh, fixing the caliper back in place so we can get the bungee off and start the cleaning process. So I used WD-40 for the major part of the clean and then I aided it with Autobrite engine bay degreaser. Obviously using a brush to work it all in. These, these calipers had never seen a clean in their life in, on the inside so they were proper grubby. Um, once I'd used both of those particular chemicals to get as much off as I could, I used brake cleaner for the rest of it. And then I used a built amber um, snow foam solution. But if you do it like in a 50-50, it's actually quite strong to uh, degrease the rest of it. And then I jet washed it to get most of the crap off it was fairly clean at that point I gave it a sand then I re-jet washed it and then I wiped it down with a panel wipe ready for the paint and then did all the preparation in terms of masking off the pistons um, and the surrounding area with bin bags so there was no overspray onto the car so this is the built amber 50-50 mix just sprayed it on Jet washed it off, didn't need to see that bit. And then we're going to do a light coat on the first coat, so now it's all prepped and ready. So the first coat's nice and light, don't need to go mad with it. And then I normally use my little heat gun um, just, to, just to speed up the drying process before you know, in between coats. So that's it, just try and get as much on as you can in terms of. Um, Sorry, not as much as you can, just try and cover as much of the caliper in, in a light dusting as possible. And just, it's up to you, you can either leave it 15 minutes in between coats, 
or just do what I'm doing and just uh, give it a little bit of a heat gun and just wait five minutes and then go over it again with a slightly heavier coating don't go mad at this stage you've got to build the coats up and then hit it again with the heat gun when we've uh, we've done all the coverage that we want Again, just give it a heat gun for about, about two minutes. Don't get too close, obviously. And then just leave it for five minutes. And then come back and get the third thick coat on. As you can see, it's the Halfords caliper paint. It's actually really good. I wasn't expecting it to be that good. You don't need a primer or anything. You just literally do what you've seen me do, which is just prep the surface, spray it on, off you go. Obviously, you can tell it's a thicker coat this time. And that's basically that. And then this is the finished caliper in place. Looking lovely and shiny. Looks like a nice thick coat. This is the other side. Again, you can see the bells all painted up on that one looks a lot better. So I need to be able to get the other one off. Okay, people, that concludes the video. Only a short bit, just to show you, you know, how you can quickly paint your calipers. And spray painting them over hand painting them is far better. It's far quicker, um, although it doesn't look it, but it is. In terms of, it just needs to prep, really. The preparation is what takes the time. But the finish is far better once you actually start spraying it. You know, if you were going to paint it, you'd be there for a good couple of hours. And it doesn't take that long with the preparation. Um, so yeah, there you go. Until the next video, I shall see you again soon. And the next video will be very good. Bye for now.